All right. So we have our word of the day or our concept of the day. Okay. H O A. Anybody know what H O A stands for? It's like House of Pancakes, House of no, Apples. No. <laughs> No. House of is that homeowners association? That is homeowners association. All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> and that is the last cheer say, I would hear for an HOA. I would say, yeah, I would probably say not a cheer sound. <laughs> no, I would say more of a me. boo sound. Well, we can, boo can, sound? You, can you give a definition of a homeowners association and then we can talk more about it? HOA is like make and enforce rules in certain subdivisions and areas. Mm-hmm. And they charge you a ton of money. And they charge you well. They charge you a they fee. They charge you a fee, like a month. Well, some some yearly, are yearly, monthly. mostly yearly, I think, from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. But for like common area maintenance of the neighborhood to make Flowers. sure it looks pretty. Flowers at the entryway. Mm-hmm. But then they're like, Grass. I'm not a big fan of HOAs. So, and honestly, I haven't met a lot of people that are. Why? <laughs> because HOAs can enforce rules like, oh, you can't put up a fence. And, oh, by the way, you all have to have matching mailboxes. What's wrong with matching oh, mailboxes? Oh, if you want your house a certain color, you can't. You Oh, sorry. Can you I be can. play devil's advocate to you? Sure. So you're purchasing a house, and you put all of your money in the world into this property. Okay. And then somebody decides to uh, roll in, like, a trailer on a truck, and it's only 500 square feet and they're going to park their giant mixing truck in front and have their cows and their chickens <laughs> next to your trailer purple. super awesome million dollar property. Okay, I have a question. Yeah, did you, did your value just go down <laughs> or up? Well, it depends. Is it are they parking on the road or are they in the driveway? <laughs> <laughs> right next door to you. They're yeah. right next door to you. But th- your square footage is like 2000, theirs is 500. They have cows, they have chickens, okay. etc. Okay, since I'm and not a really big satellite dish. Am I right in right. an HOA or am I not in an HOA right now? You're, you're not, not in. You're not in an HOA because there's no restrictions. They can do anything they want. Oh my goodness! They just started mowing and they got a little of your yard. Whoops! Nope. Keep going. So you know what I do? What? <laughs> Here I we go. Win. I'd either one. I'd let their chickens out. I do some <laughs> landscaping to maybe put up some tall trees for a little more privacy. It's going to take a while for them to grow, yo. The value. That or truck's going to be there a while. It's not going to help the value. Uh, but no. the truck parked in their driveway is going to kill the value. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, it won't hurt your value. It won't help your Well, value. he comes in every morning at 3 in the morning, and the truck's really loud. Okay. And it says right on the truck, really loud at three in the morning. <laughs> and it's right there in the driveway. It's right, right. Well, I feel like without an HOA, there's Good usually place. like quiet hours in neighborhoods, right? So No. No? 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 There's no... That's at camp. <laughs> <laughs> camp. I feel like in most neighborhoods, like you can be disruptive at night and not be a part of an HOA. That's like, like a that's college a dorm. But a lot, I, I mean, pe- so. people are respectful and they realize like, Hey, it's past ten o'clock. Maybe I shouldn't set off my fireworks in January. Right, but not everybody does. Right, but you can definitely still call and complain. Yeah, and have haven't you ever heard shirts. of the beer can house? Yeah, but no, I still want to be on this topic because I love it. <laughs> I love this back and forth. It's good for perspective mm-hmm. from yeah. my perspective. Mm-hmm. If I'm a home buyer who I just spent, just for the example, if I just bought a four hundred thousand dollar house, mm-hmm. I don't want someone else telling me what I can and can't do with it. But you Obviously also don't in want your the situation, in their house purple and pink. In the scenario you just explained, it's very far out there, I think. Yeah. Well, well, there's definitely problems with the neighborhood, but I would say a lot of HOAs are just sticklers about things. Sometimes they go way over and above, yeah. and there's too much, and you would think <laughs> if, like, somebody wants a fence, it would be like, okay, let's go to the developer and let's get permission. Let's have some, you know, common sense about things. That would be helpful. But right. making sure that you have similar square footages and similar quality, it does really matter for your it's, value. It's yeah. also kind of nice because sure. you have those boulevards when you pull in the neighborhoods that have flowers and plantings and trees and mulch and stuff down. Yeah, it looks pretty. And if yeah. nobody took care of them and there's nobody paying for that HOA, what do you think they look like? Yeah, we actually had know. that when we, we lived it, yeah. in, uh, well, bleepity bleep. But nobody <laughs> took care of the, my favorite the, neighborhood. the common <laughs> area and it, it looked terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it looked sure. really, really bad, and we were, and and they were, you know, f- what three, four hundred thousand dollar houses, and at that time, that was a higher end home, and you pulled in, and you were like, 
oh, those plants are dead. I can definitely get on board <laughs> if you're Thank paying you. it. No, oh, I can definitely it. get on board with like maybe paying for actual common area maintenance, but that's one thing compared to. Yeah, one. I thing can't that, park yeah. my boat in my driveway for two days because someone who's on the board in this specific neighborhood tells me not because Jeff across the street says I can't. Yeah, park so. it in his driveway. Mm-hmm. But you know, park it in front of his house on the street. Then it's I not think. in your driveway. Yeah, but you probably can't. I don't know. There's so many different specifics, <laughs> but I definitely can appreciate the sense of I want someone to take care of the neighborhood because obviously you, you want to live in a nice area. You mm-hmm. want everything to be pretty. I definitely get that. Mm-hmm. But like if I want a fire pit in my backyard or if I want to put up a fence just because I want a private backyard, why should someone tell me no? Do you yell to people which is why grass? get off my grass? <laughs> which is why when you're buying a off home, my lawn. you should definitely know what the HOA rules and regulations are. Mm-hmm. Just look at the camera and do that. Here, here. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and if you have questions, you can we got me. answers. <laughs> if you have questions, we have answers. But I don't know. Yep. I think there's pros and cons. More and more, I have been hearing about HOAs in transactions and buyers just flat out saying, I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I'm kind of of the mindset you need a basic kind of rules on square footage and, you know, what you can make things look like. I don't care what your mailbox looks like. I don't care if you have a fence. We actually you know live in a mean? neighborhood that required a wood mailbox. Yeah, and like yeah. they were going to come with a baseball HOA. bat. And Somebody did come with a baseball bat. Take, take you related. out. Non-related. Wait, Non-related. What? Yeah. Somebody took out our mailbox. Yeah. I had to replace it. Yeah. Aww. From the HOA? No, no not from the <laughs> HOA. No, Pay no. your dues! Oh, I'd believe it. They'd be like, it's past the two days. This is gone. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't somebody put up like a... A big musky yeah. uh, kind of, uh, but it was wood. It was wood, but it looked like you know, yeah. not classy or something yeah. like that. So they there was like a huge uproar, and we were like, "We're moving." <laughs> it wasn't ours, but we were yeah. like, "Yeah, <laughs> no." Nope. I, I think the most that the number uh, one thing I hear the most if it has an HOA is, "Can I put up a fence or not?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just from my experience, well, Jacob, and you, know, you probably have HOAs or requirements for your neighborhood, don't you? HOAs up the A. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. You color know, color of the house, size I, of the house, location. Some extra windows. gables. You think you oh, need yeah. them? Because gables you can't God. look too much like your neighbor's house. This one's a ranch, and you're a ranch, so you need to look like a two story, even though you are a ranch, because otherwise you, there's too many ranches. Right. My. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, it's it's conflicting for me because in one sense we chose the neighborhood because it's so cute and has a certain charm and aesthetic to it but the only way that you can get a whole neighborhood to have the same look is they all have to follow the same rules so without those rules the neighborhood would just kind of look however it would be very i don't know average i guess be charming and cute yeah Mm -hmm. it would lose its charm it would lose the thing that's special about it um but then there's also the power trip side when you're in charge of making the rules sometimes you got nothing better to do than uh get a little worked up over small issues and um Following some of those rules seems kind of ridiculous at times, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm very conflicted. Uh, luckily, my our HOA they have they have a lot of rules, but they don't have a lot of fees. I think we pay one to two hundred dollars a year. Yeah, probably for the maintenance. The yeah, areas. And, and I think we're on the closer to the one hundred side. You have to pay like two hundred if you if your house is connected to an alleyway because they got to plow the alleyways plow it, yeah. or whatever. But yeah, I, I mean. You, there's, I don't, unless you go live out in the sticks, I, I don't know how you're going to get away from a lawless land. <laughs> like there's going to be yeah. rules everywhere. It's just, what's your level of, uh, how much, uh, tolerance, how much freedom are you willing to give up for the sake of, uh, having nice stuff? Cuteness. Yeah. Cuteness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just like my, my fiance, her parents. Oh, that was the last one. We so it's Killian. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but her parents live on a cul-de-sac and it's part of an HOA. And they were frustrated because it was like a newer expansion, newer build. And literally their house is directly across the street from themselves. It's the same house. Just across mm. the street. Yeah. And it drives them nuts. Do they ever pull in the neighbor's house? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so because they know where they live. But Winning. <laughs> yeah. Like they were annoyed because there's a Did they ever go in the back door of the neighbor's house? So they no. wanted more <laughs> deed restrictions. Yeah, yeah. I guess they were like, "Oh, well, it kind of would have been nice to know that the same exact house, like literally the same house, is just directly across the street from them." Yeah, 
like our HOA would have prohibited that. They were very strict. Like if you have the same floor, like basic model, you have to modify it enough so it looks like none of the other houses. Jacob, can yes. you have a fence? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> I was you usually can have a fence. It's just requirement on what the Needs fence to be approved. is. But isn't like a yeah. lot of like cities or counties in general where if they don't have an HOA, there's some restrictions on what you can do in certain areas. Some towns you can't have fences at all under certain unless what unless you have a pool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then you can do whatever you want. Yeah. So all you have to do is put a pool in. Put a <laughs> pool. Yeah. Yep. So what what do you think the reason is why they don't want to allow fences? Because they want they want it all to like look the same. Open spaces, open, yeah. being Wide able to have spaces. everybody yeah. just run and make it more of a Cut to the neighbor's yard. Yeah, yeah. But or <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> like the my kid neighbor around. kid can go <laughs> to Joey's kid. house, and you know what I mean. You <laughs> sure. have kind of this more open. There's a neighborhood no on, on, in Fitchburg where they absolutely will not allow fences, and they just the developer does not like the look of how it looks with fences. They want it all open. Which I feel like a lot of people have concerns of fences just because of animals. You can always get an electric fence. Which yeah. If you're HOA. Approved. You can also get a fish. Of course. Or, or we <laughs> just use, we use a tie because we didn't have a Not good great luck trying fences. to teach, no. uh, yeah, trying to teach a dog to oh, obey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I grew can up in a neighborhood. Passionate about it? Mm-hmm. No. My neighborhood didn't allow <laughs> fences. And uh, it would have you prob- got out. No, <laughs> <laughs> I escaped as a lot. Comeback. <laughs> yeah, no, our dog got out a lot. Well, there was a lot of we had a naughty pup. <laughs> Fence would have changed that. But are you in your new house yet? Not till April. April. Okay. Ooh, April eighth oh. or fifteenth. May. Yeah. Ooh, May tax 15th. day. May fifteenth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Uh, uh, they can't. They can't tax somebody that's broke. <laughs> yes they can all yes. money yes, they can. <laughs> they totally can. yes they can yes they can, yes they can. <laughs> yes they can yes they can yes they can no we already did our taxes i didn't hit submit but i already filed them like i just didn't hit the chicken yeah i know <laughs> uh, <sighs> anyhow hoas so may 15th yeah, moving in love hoas that is closing day i think we're gonna move in maybe a week later uh so may 23rd something like that yeah or april oh <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, we're going to probably like paint our walls and stuff and do some little tiny projects before we get in there. Just move in. <laughs> Just move in. Well, you've been waiting so long. Our lease is, doesn't end till the end of the month. So we have, we have that uh, leeway anyhow. So no reason to rush. If you like content like this, consider watching some of these other videos, hitting the subscribe button. If you want to know what your house is currently worth, go to hometeamforyou.com and look at the free evaluation tool.